WGN investigates police purgatory. What happens when a Chicago cop on an elite unit is accused of misconduct and assigned to desk duty for more than a decade? Tonight, the story of an officer left in legal limbo, earning a paycheck, but not allowed to protect and serve. How to police Chicago's most dangerous neighborhoods? It's been debated for decades. Should cops be aggressive, swarming conflict zones like an invading army? Or should they try to forge relationships and connections in the communities they serve? I love the job. You got the keys to a vehicle and you went out and you tried to make the city better. You got gun arrests, you got narcotics arrests. You focused on long-term investigations to help the people of the city. Chicago police officer Tom Sherry joined the department in 1997, following in his father's footsteps. After working in the violent Harrison district on the west side, he was moved to the Special Operations Section, or SOS, an elite citywide unit tasked with tracking down guns and drugs. They were aggressive, they got results, but they also got into trouble. Sherry's career derailed in 2006 when he was criminally charged in connection with an SOS drug raid at a Northwest Side apartment. Eventually, 13 officers in the special operations section would be charged. 11 pleaded guilty, including the ringleader, Jerome Finnegan. Simply put, SOS will no longer be in place. The special operations section was disbanded and police superintendent Phil Klein resigned. Chicago Police Department remains committed to addressing misconduct at every level and will remove any police officer who commits crimes. Some SOS cops went to prison, but the criminal charges against Tom Sherry, they were dropped in 2009. Jody Weiss, who took over as superintendent, said of that decision, we have guys who have been in purgatory. It's time to fish or cut bait. It remains clear that many officers that were assigned to the special operations section were both dedicated and ethical. Federal prosecutors who were looking into corruption in the CPD unit sent Sherry's attorney a letter saying he was not a target of their investigation. 2009, when those charges were finally dropped, you're looking for a breathing room. You're looking to start your life and, and move forward. Um, and knowing that uh, there was a legitimate reason for me being, uh, you know, for the charges being dropped, I looked to restart my life again. And uh, as hard as that was, there was never any closure to it. Those initial criminal allegations that were dropped in 2009 now serve as the foundation of new administrative charges that the department leveled against Sherry last year. Police brass now want him fired. CPD accuses Sherry of several department violations, breaking the law, impeding CPD's efforts, disobeying an order, and making a false report. Sherry believes that the department is trying to fire him now because in 2018, he sued the city and police department, alleging they violated his rights by assigning him to desk duty for more than a decade. A federal judge threw out the lawsuit last March. Yes, I think it was done out of malice. I think it was, it was done out of spite because I wouldn't sit quietly and go off into the night. What some see as police purgatory, the department labels callback. Records reviewed by WGN Investigates reveal more than 200 officers are assigned to desk duty at any given time, typically while they're under investigation for their conduct or while recovering from an on-the-job injury. The data show 17% of the officers assigned desk duty this summer had been there for more than four years. Nobody is getting a fair shake in any process that comes from this. It's not fair to the city. It's not fair to the officer. It's not fair to the public and the community at large. I've never really seen a criminal investigation that's gone on that long. Gene Roy retired as chief of detectives for the Chicago Police Department. He says the long time in time out can be intentional. And also, there's the interest of the police department at the same time. You know, what do we do with this officer? Somebody sitting in callback for 10 years as a result of somebody else's investigation and somebody else's decision. You know, do you want to be the police chief or the superintendent that is going to return that officer to full duty or fire him? 
After more than a decade on desk duty, Tom Sherry says he just wants to get back to doing the job he loves. I'm looking to establish myself, but I want my name cleared. That is the most important thing. Sherry's next evidentiary hearing was delayed. So he continues to wait for the wheels of government to turn. A police spokesperson citing Sherry's ongoing police board case would not comment on why the department waited a decade to take administrative action against him. As for that specialized unit that was disbanded, others have followed. Micah, you know they go by different names. Yeah. They've had varying degrees of success. When Superintendent Brown came in, he said, uh, no, I don't want to have these specialized units. We want people to stay in their communities. Then crime soared, and now he's back to those specialized Especially, units. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, there's another chance for rain and even thunderstorms tomorrow. Demetrius Ivory's full forecast less than 10 minutes away. Also, the First Lady arrives in.